So we're going to the We're going to Dumbo those today and then to the uh park on the park. And then we're coming back home. So, Austin, what are you doing? No. Right. Mom said I can vlog. That was great. Oh, no, lock it. Afternoon, you guys. It is Thursday, I think. I don't know. We are sitting in the car, just about to head out. We're going to go get some coffee. And then, well, I'm going to go get some coffee. And then I'm going to take them to the park. Um, our park in our town has been closed for some time and Grayson has been just itching to go. So he woke up this morning and asked if we could go and I said, why not? So I got my gym clothes on. Even though I'm not working out right now. Ugh. Let's go get coffee. I got my coffee. It's all I wanted. The kids I'm got, done. yep, my the kids sweet. got whipped cream. Nevaeh's, Nevaeh, <laughs> she eats her whipped cream so slow. She takes baby bites. She likes to, so this is the difference in our children. Nevaeh likes to savor every single bite. Austin ate the whole thing before we even left the store and Grayson just finished his. I bet Nevaeh will still be eating hers by the time we get to the park. But if you have a Dunn Brothers in your area, their vanilla ice Nirvana is so good. All right, now we're going to the park. All right, no, I'm just kidding. We are at the park, and I'm gonna sit, Grayson and Nevaeh packed lunches, snacks, and they're gonna play on this cool park, which they haven't gotten to in a really long time, right? Seti? They are so happy to be out of the house, you guys. Oh my gosh, that goes fast. Uh -huh. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna do the monkey cars. Oh, it's getting stuck. Oh! Whoa. Nice. You did it. Hi. High five. Mom, try to catch me. Oh, the van. Try to catch you? This one gets stuck. You kind of have to like move it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You can do it! Oh, and he dropped. And Austin's tired from pushing them. <laughs> Look who joined the party. We haven't vlogged in a hot minute, huh? It's been a hot minute. Been, Ethan's been working, so. Back at it. Did you go to bed early last night? Yeah, at like 10.30, which is super early for me. That is really early. What'd you make yourself? Sandwich. Peanut butter jelly? Austin didn't bring a lunch. But Davea did. You actually had salami and cheese in the car. Yeah. I brought a built bar. Oh, ooh, you brought a built bar. Mm-hmm. Hey you guys, so got my workout done. Ethan actually um, shocked our pool, which should be very interesting because the last time he shocked it, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you definitely should. I 
post stories on there every day, but last time he shocked it, it turned like really poop brown color. It was terrible and like green and brown. It was so weird, but he just shocked it only because we had a filter and the filter, we had one filter and that filter was super dirty. So he bought a new one and the guy was like, you honestly should probably shock the pool and he's nervous about it but got my workout done we shocked the pool Grayson has been riding on his motorbike and playing frisbee with Ethan and the kid Ethan and Grayson and Nevaeh it's too hot out for you yeah um, Nevaeh has an orthodontist appointment today that is should be very interesting um, she hasn't been wearing her bite plate as much as she should, and so I'm a little nervous for it. It's like, during quarantine, I honestly totally forgot about her bite plate. It's like, because she has been snacking um, more often, because of, like, we don't, we get up later, and then we have a snack, and then we, and then she's chewing gum, and the whole thing. So. I don't know how that's gonna go, but they're gonna talk about, she still has some baby teeth and stuff like that that um, needs to be taken out before she can get braces, but um, it should be an interesting appointment. They had to do some COVID pre-questionnaire thing. And yeah, so Ethan is gonna take you guys along with the appointment, and there goes Greg. Gray got this. I don't know if I've shown this on the vlog, but it's like a little motor, bike what's it called a razor yeah. a razor motorbike ethan found it yeah. ethan found it on facebook for a really good deal and um grayson has been loving it but now he wants a real motorbike not a battery powered motorbike because you have to plug it in every 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 night but we were headed to nevaeh's orthodontic appointment which i think courtney already said so yeah, she did. perfect so we'll take you guys with and uh, see what they have to say. She hasn't been in since all the COVID stuff started. So I think she missed an appointment. We had to reschedule. We'll see. Hey, babe. <laughs> She's not happy about having to wear the mask, but what do you do? We're not requiring, recommending, highly recommending that we wear masks. So here we go. To baby. Oh, big. It's too big. Mm -hmm. Daddy's masks are too big. They fit me just perfect. How did it go? How did it go? Good. What did they say? Uh, six more weeks. Six more weeks? Yeah. And then they said you don't have to wait. Or just six more weeks until your next six appointment. Six more weeks until my next appointment. Did he say you better keep wearing that more than 15 hours a day? She's already got a lot to remember just being a kid in general, but then having the diabetes and the celiacs, like she's just got so much on her plate. Uh, it is hard to add another thing in there of constantly having to remember to put her bite plate in, like after she eats, right when she, you know, she, for the most part, for the most part, she wears it all night. Um, but she'll have breakfast and forget to put it in until the afternoon sometimes, so. It's hard. We'll just keep working on it. Got little Missy a treat. For real. For real. Acai Berry Blast. <laughs> Look what happened to it. Smoothies that they... <laughs> Look what happened to it. It digged all stations. the way down. Yeah, it blended it up for you. It did it all the way down though. It usually does it not a little bit halfway. Looks delicious. I got myself a little energy drink. What is up, you guys? So I completely messed up, and uh, Courtney had asked me to take the camera on the boat with us. Uh, we decided kind of a spontaneous trip after dinner to take the kids out fishing uh, just a lake like 15 minutes from our house, the one that we normally go to. So we had a blast. She'd reminded me to bring the camera uh, before we left, but I completely forgot. So anyway, uh, we had a blast. Um, fishing that's like our favorite pastime i love having a boat now so we can literally just at the drop of a hat if we have two to three hours available in an evening we can just run out do some fishing 
just drive around, cruise around the lake. But I have some pictures on my phone, so that's gonna have to suffice for now. Uh, just the pictures that we took while we were on the boat. This was actually Nevaeh and I when we were at the dentist office, or not the dentist, the orthodontist. So here is a sunny, yep, there it is. Grayson was pumped. Got that sunny, I think that's the same sunny. This is Nevaeh, she caught a really nice uh, largemouth bass. Pretty good size, I don't have a um, length or a weight on it or anything like that, but she was super pumped because she wasn't catching anything for a while, so she got the award for biggest fish of the night. And this, it was, it was a little windy when we first got out there, but towards the end of the night it just completely calmed down and the lake was almost like glass, so this was us cruising across the lake just snapped a picture sent these over to court she loves getting the pictures while we're cruising around there's the kids we're heading towards the landing they're just hanging out in the front of the boat just loving it they like when i hit bumps they call it hit some jumps dad but it's actually just just waves and courtney does not like that and that i think is the last picture that's them just being silly i said smile grayson just flipped his leg up so yeah, that was how we wrapped up our night and uh, kiddos are in bed and I went out and cleaned up the boat. Um, I don't know if you guys, I mean, we showed a picture of the boat, but I don't think you guys have actually like got to see like, whoa, got to see like inside the boat. So here's our baby. It's a crown line boat. Did a lot of research, kind of right up there with Sea Rays, some of the higher end boats got some nice rims on it it's a 19 and a half foot sea ray or sorry 19 and a half foot crown line it's a lower unit got a ladder this is kind of the diving or swimming platform if you will some of them come extended out a little bit farther um, but this is where you hook up your tow rope for skiing or tubing give you a little tour of the boat so overall the boat is in pretty dang good condition front seats this is our storage compartment for that's just got a frisbee that Courtney just bought dude perfect frisbee and then we got all of our tow ropes in there for tubing and skiing that holds all of our life jackets same over here more life jackets we got a glove box there to keep sunscreen and stuff got some more sunscreen down there this actually so the lady that we bought it from had uh had it sitting for a couple years on consignment at a marine dealership uh, that was maintaining it for her and they told her they were going to keep it on the showroom floor and uh, apparently they lied to her and actually had it sitting outside with no cover on it and so the boat got uh, a lot of sun so it dried out the the fabric or the vinyl on the seats and so these actually ended up cracking uh, when I bought it from her it was already like that some of them gotten a little worse this one's gotten worse this one's gotten worse so I'll eventually have to do some reupholstering on it but for now it is fine there's her beautiful engine it's a car engine 4.3 Merc Cruiser it's like the same uh, GM engine 4.3 that they used to put in uh, a lot of vehicles like the S10s and the Chevy Blazers and stuff. So she's powerful. It's fun. Pretty fuel efficient as well. Um, I put new speakers in it. I don't think I showed you guys, uh, but the speakers that were in it were were good, but they were so weathered they just started breaking uh, when I turned music on. So I got some new Poke Audio speakers installed down here. I would like to. Let's see, here's the uh, radio as well as it's got a little input there uh, for plugging an MP3 player or your phone. And, uh, but yeah, I'd like to add some more speakers to it. A buddy of mine, Tony, has like 12 speakers in his boat and it's insane. We'll definitely have the boat out this weekend and we'll bring the camera out again or bring the camera out first time and uh get some tubing and some some water fun videotape for you guys so 
that's a wrap on tonight's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it.